Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you that are new to my YouTube channel, I'm a professional footballer from Australia. I'm playing in Malaysia. In this channel, I give you advice which you can't find on the internet. So, if you're looking to become a professional footballer in Asia particularly, then follow the journey because you'll learn a lot of stuff which I've learned during my time over the years. Also guys, I've got a giveaway. Yay! So this is one of my training jerseys. It smells really I've, good. I've washed it so it doesn't smell, so no problems there. It's from Kalantan, official stuff. Got the pants as well, so the whole kit. And to win this, there's a few things that you need to do. So first of all, I want you to like this video. If you don't like it, then dislike it, but do something. And then also leave a comment below with your favorite motivational quote. Okay, the second thing I want you to do is follow this Instagram account that I have made. It's called Pro Football Development. And on this page, I cut the best videos that I found on the internet to make you into a better athlete. So for example, there's this one video that I cut. It shows Conor McGregor working with this group, Edo Portal, and he's walking on a handrail. Now, why the hell is he doing that? It's because he wants to improve his balance and proprioception. So these are some of the things that top athletes are doing and you don't see that in your normal training. So it's good to copy off the best. And in this page, I've taken the best videos from different athletes, the top athletes around the world, and put them all on this page. So go check it out and follow that. And I'll choose one winner, and yeah, you'll get a nice jersey and you can train in it. It's, it's a cool thing, so go ahead and do that. Okay, let's get back to this video and talk about how to get off the bench and get more playing time. Now some coaches, for whatever reason, they might not want to play you. Maybe it's because they don't like you personally, perhaps they don't like your style of play, perhaps uh, you don't fit into their formation. There's so many reasons out there. You may feel like you're working hard, you're playing good, you're better than other players, but the coach is still not playing you. But let me tell you this one piece of advice. Football changes very fast. One day, you might not even be considered to be part of the team. You might be, you know, one of the players on the outskirts of the team. But football changes so quickly. Perhaps the coach gets sacked. Players get suspended. Players get injured. I've been in big teams, big squads where there's like 30 players and all of a sudden they've got no other players and you play. So the first thing that you need to do is extra training. If you look at the first 11 players, they're playing for 90 minutes. And if you're not playing, that's 90 minutes of fitness that you're losing compared to them. Now in a professional team, the next day, these 11 players are normally doing recovery while the other players are doing normal training. But this normal training is not equivalent to the intensity of a 90 minute game. So, as a player who's not playing 90 minutes, you need to do more to catch up. Because every week, if this, these players are playing 90 minutes, their fitness is gonna be up here, and yours is gonna be down here. You need to catch up. So my advice for you is, if you're not playing 90 minutes, then you go for a long jog, maybe 45 minutes, and include interval training in it. Do extra training so that you're not falling behind. Also at training, do extra training before and after. Come to the field early. Do extra, extra spins after training. The coaches will see that. They'll see that you're working hard, that you want to be in this team. They notice things like this. If you're aggressive in training, you want it more than others, then perhaps they're gonna give you a chance to play instead of another bench player. The second thing, that's very important is talking to your coach. Talk to the coach, ask him what you need to do better, how he sees you in the team, is there a certain position he wants you to play, are you doing something wrong? There's so many different factors 
which influence his decision. At the end of the day, he's picking the team, so you need to know what he's thinking and communicate with him. It's very important. And the third way is, when you're a substitute and you get the chance to come on, you need to make an impact. Let's say, for example, it's the 70th minute, it's one all, you're a striker or a winger, and you're pushing to win the game. This is the time that you need to make an impact. You need to fight for everything. Show everyone why you deserve to be on that field. You know, either score a goal, or make an assist, or do something that will change the game. That's what you're there for. You need to make an impact. In professional football, you don't get many chances. So when you get a chance, you need to take it. If you're a defender, you need to close out the game. Just do all the basic things right. Work harder because a lot of your teammates are gonna be tired. So you really need to support the team and that's why all that extra training that you've been doing is gonna pay off. Okay guys, just to summarize, they are the three best ways to get off the bench and get more game time. First one is extra training. Don't fall behind with your fitness. These guys that are doing 90 minute, minute games, it adds up over time. Three or four weeks, that's 360 minutes of game time that you're not getting. So you need to do your extra fitness. Work harder at training. Put in more work. Let the coaches see that, that you want it, that you have the soul, you have the drive to play. Number two is talk to the coach, communicate. Find out what he wants. And finally, you need to take your chance and fight when you get onto the field. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Remember to smash that like button, comment your best motivational quote, and you'll, one of you guys will win this shirt. Woo! And follow that Pro Football Development Instagram page. You can learn a lot from it. All right, thanks, guys, for watching, and until next time, ciao.